what is a frame a frame is supporting components of automobile vehicle it is the foundation for carrying the engine transmission system and steering by means of spring axles rubber pads etc as we can see this is an example of a frame we can see the springs are attached to the frame engine uh, based on the configuration engine can can either be placed in the front over here or can be either placed in the back or in the middle next the frames are made of box tubular channels or u shaped sections welded or riveted together as you can see this type of frames are made of box channels whereas the cross section of this channel of this frame is made of tubular channels this is just a real life example of a frame as we can see over here this is a box type frame and all the parts of frame are either welded or riveted with each other good next thing now what are the functions of frame first function of frame is to support the chassis component and the body the chassis components like engine wheels radiator transmission system consisting of clutch gearbox propeller shaft suspension systems steering systems brakes fuel tank etc they all are supported on frame the next function of frame is to withstand the static and dynamic load of different components of chassis to withstand load of body to carry load of the passenger or goods carried in the body next function of frame is to withstand force caused due to turning of vehicle and sudden braking or acceleration next is to withstand stresses caused due to uneven road condition to withstand impact load due to collision of a vehicle with another object after going through different functions of frame let us discuss how we can categorize the different types of frame that are present frames are basically categorized into three parts one is conventional frame second is integral or unit construction or frameless chassis and third category in which you can divide the frames are half integral and half frame chassis now first thing first let us discuss the first category of a frame which is conventional frame this type of frame is used on most of heavy vehicles for different type of vehicles the construction details are different and varying chassis frame are made of steel section so that they are strong enough to withstand the load and at the same time are also light in weight to reduce dead weight on the vehicle this type of frame has two long members this one and this one and five to six cross members this cross members are joined together with the help of rivet or bolts the cross member is used to increase the strength of frame the side member may be parallel with both horizontal vertical plane but more commonly tapered inward they are in swept at front and up swept at the rear the frame is narrowed down at front to have a better steering lock which gives smaller turning circle and provides space for the pivoting and swinging of the front wheel the up swept at the rear is primarily to give room for the vertical movement of the rear axle as the travels over road bumps and other surface inequalities the body brackets are provided to support the body of the vehicle whereas the spring bracket are provided on the frame for mounting the springs the extension of the chassis frame ahead in the front uh, ahead of the front axle is known as the front overhang while its extension beyond the rear is known as the rear overhang now this sections that is cross members and the side members are made up of either channel section box section i section head section or tubular section the channel section and box section that is this one and this one 
have higher bending stiffness compared to solid square section with same cross sectional area therefore both these sensors are used for sing- for side long members the eye section tubular and head sections are normally used for cross members that is this three are basically used only for this type of construction the side and cross member are usually joined by riveting or welding or bolted together the engine clutch gearbox and steering are all bolted together to form rigid assembly which is mounted usually on front end of the frame it is necessary that cheeses must maintain the working assemblies in their correct position and provide a mounting for the body although it adds little for the strength of the structure this is basically a real life example of a conventional frame as we can see in this frame this are the side members this are the cross members which has a different construction as we have discussed earlier right this are the body brackets this are the spring brackets what else yeah and this is the inswept of front whereas the rear part of the side member are upswept the next category into which you can divide the frame is also known as integral or unit construction or frameless stages this frame construction nowadays used in most of water vehicle is called frameless or stagesless or mono or unit construction in which the floor assembly and the part of the frame form one integral unit as shown in this figure in this type of construction heavy side members used in conventional frame construction are eliminated and the floor is strengthened by cross member and the body all welded together the last category into which you can divide the frame is known as half integral and half frame cheeses in some vehicle half frame is fixed in the front or rear end on which engine gearbox and front suspension is mounted as we can see in this figure the frame part is directly bolted to the structure or to the body of the vehicle it has the advantage when the vehicle is met with accident the frame can be taken out easily to replace the damaged chassis frame so when uh, as you can see this frame part is bolted with the body so when this vehicle is in accident you can easily remove this frame from here and you can remove the chassis component like engine suspension and uh,